Reincarnations of Shadows, which is the title of uh, our exhibition, is also my first solo exhibition in Italy. The title Reincarnations of Shadows has a kind of a duality, the concept of reincarnations and the concept of shadows. When come up with this title together with my curators, we were thinking about how to present an exhibition that is a lot about transparency and fluidity. And the concept of uh, reincarnations in the Vietnamese context where I grew up uh, relates to the spiritual practice of Buddhism because I was growing up in a quite traditional Buddhist family and uh, I have a simple understanding of uh, reincarnation as the possibilities to have an uh, afterlife. But for me, the, the idea of reincarnation in art or in the moving image has a rather different approach. For me, it is the ability for the image and the moving and the film and even the painting and the objects to be able to transform. So when I work with moving image, I, I re-edit them, I change the footage, I, I change the display every time the exhibition change. So it talks about becoming and it talks about the possibilities for transformation. Shadows is also an important part of the exhibition. A shadows a face is like a, an influence from uh, one of the artists that I absolutely adore and she was also my mentor, Joan Jonas. In her major publication, In the Shadow, a Shadow, she also used a lot of the concept of shadow in her own moving image and the performance works. But shadow, in my understanding, kind of relates more in a text that was written by Junichiro Tanyasaki, a Japanese writer, who wrote a book called uh, In Phrase of Shadows, in which he explored how, let's say, uh, people in the East understanding the beauty of objects, not in bright and direct light, but in indirect light that create the shadows of the object that make it more attractive and mysterious. The new production that I made uh, for Pirelli Hanga Bicoca is a collaboration between Pirelli Hanga Bicoca and uh, Foundation In Between Art Film and it's called Reincarnation of Shadows, Moving Image Poem. It is a conversation between me and a senior artist, Dim Phung Thi, and she uh, was a Vietnamese modernist uh, sculptor that was trained uh, initially as a dentist and one of the first women has graduated with a doctor in dentistry in France. So she left Vietnam in the late 40s and she spent four decades living in France before coming back to Hue, her own hometown in the early 90s. I am particularly fascinated by her life and work since I first heard about her work as a child and seen her work physically at, when I was a student in 2010. And uh, what attracted me so much in her uh, over is these possibilities to, to use a, a sculpture as a language because she invented a system of uh, seven modules, uh, which she calls her own alphabet, to uh, create a whole 
a world of、uh, images that relates a lot to the topic of women and children and the war and peace,、uh, very universal topics. I also、uh, interested in this conversation since I also present some of her physical works that she、uh, she made in France and was、uh, bring back to Vietnam, and these are very intimate、uh, sculptures, very small in scales. So the atmosphere is like a, a chapter of a book that has a certain kind of intimacy. I realized that the history of art that was written and was taught in schools, art schools or institution, is quite limited according to my personal perspective. And I feel like there are many wonderful artists that are overlooked or forgotten or underestimate. So this is a gesture to kind of giving. Another ways of looking at this history is like I try to write、uh, my own art history with the artwork. That's why I decided to bring some physical works to the space to create a dialogue with my existing、um, moving image and painting works. I am intrigued to, let's say, use the stories from my local context and transform it into both painting and moving image. And I, I think、uh, that's give me a way to kind of、uh, visualize the the subject matter that I am concerned about. I am fascinated by the architecture of the Pirelli Hangar Bicocca because it's so unique and unusual as exhibition space. So when I visited it for the first time, it raised up some challenges because to pair painting, which requires light, and moving image, which requires darkness, is a challenge. So we bring up the idea of division that is not using walls but using the artwork itself. One of the pieces that we are quite proud of,、uh, which is called No Chute Cloth for the Bones, and this is a site-specific、uh, installation by Chute Stock that、uh, relate to the video Mood Grain that talks about the famine in 1945 in the north of Vietnam. But in this piece, audience can pass through the installation itself, and、uh, it creates sound, and it becomes a petition. But it's also transparent and even able to be open and pass through. The concept of、uh, duality also relates to my. Interest in history and in fiction. I think as a woman, I like to read novels and fictions, but I'm also very interested in history. And I think in within the context of my country, with its specific、uh, history,、um, the kind of official history that was published or written is、uh, very much limited. As an artist, I want to find other approaches of how to understand truth or how to understand history, and I found that not so much in published、uh, books, but in、uh, folklore, fairy tale, and a lot in oral history, and by the observation of, of daily life, and also in the、uh, collective memory. So、uh, in the work is always this blurring of、uh, historical facts with documentation, with archival imagery, with my own、uh, imagination. So one of the simple technique is 
If I work with archival images, I will create watercolor drawings to place on top of them to create this blurring and mixing of fact and, and fantasy and fiction.